Honestly. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for giving us this privilege to be among the living. We could not have paid for this. Thank you, Jesus. It is the Lord's doing, and the Bible says it is marvelous in our sight. Take all the praise, Jesus. Take all the honor. Take all the honor. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Welcome to another wonderful time with God on Glorious Morning Shower, a devotional platform where we take the word back every day to command a glorious destiny. And I pray for you this morning that as you connect with us on this platform, May every day of your life end in glory, in Jesus' name. The word for our consumption this morning, which we should use as a shower, is the departure of love from the church of God. Love is gone. Today we look with great disappointment how the spirit of love has been killed, murdered in our churches. The very reason why Jesus died is going down. I'm some 11 verse 3 says, If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? The very formation of the house of God is shaking and nobody cares. What made the apostle apostle in those days was not just because they were miracle workers. It's not just there were people moving all around in the name of carrying the gospel of the kingdom. The apostle became apostle and their gospel easily spread because of breaking of bread in houses. They were going from houses to houses to break bread in the spirit of love. And wherever that love comes, there the Bible says the Lord command blessing according to the book of Psalm 133. He said, Behold how good and pleasant it is for brethren to live together. At the last of that scripture, he said, there the Lord commanded his blessing. There the Lord commanded his blessing. But how do we live today? Living in despair. Living in quarrel. Living in lack of understanding. You know, if you go to court today, brothers, sisters are the one. Christians are the one using the court of Nigeria more than the other religions. Let me tell you. Because I've been to court several times. If you go to the court registry, it's the Christians that have more cases than the other religion. When issues happen in the other religion, the spiritual leader can easily handle it. But when it happens in the Christian faith, pastors, bishops, Christian leaders can handle it. We are too quick to fight each other. We are too quick to condemn each other. And that is why the, the strength of our impact in evangelism, the strength of our impact in missionary work to get to those that have not been reached is still very weak. How do I preach to the unbelievers if I don't love the people I think are in my fold? I pray in the name of Jesus that this love that has departed, return back in the name of Jesus. You see, you see how that love left? That was when Cain killed Abel. It began from there and it kept spreading. What do you think made a young man begin to look for his father who didn't do him any wrong? Just because somebody manipulated him, he ran, he came after the head of his father. What do you think made uh, uh, 
Miriam conspired against his own brother Moses. That is how that love was destroyed. And it spread into our time. But when God saw all those rubbish, he brought his son back. And that is why the Bible says, For God so loved the world. Then he gave his son to clean up the rubbish of Miriam, to clean up the rubbish of Cain, to clean up the rubbish of Absalom, and so many of them. And that was why it was said, he said, the enemy of a man and members of his household. He saw it all, and that scripture came up. He said, if, if, if your household gets rid of you, then you are gone. But if an outsider gets rid of you, you can easily find the person. I pray today that that glory that departed, that took away, that our love that left, return back to the house of God in the name of Jesus. The departure of love is a painful thing. Is that God is love? And if God is love and we do not love, that means we are, we are rejecting God. John chapter 3 verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. It is, it is in the spirit of love he gave. But what do we do with what he has given? The very thing that he gave to love is the very thing that is dividing us. The very Jesus that he gave is what we have bastardized. He is not a member of my congregation. She does not belong to my denomination. We are so divided by denomination. We are so divided by color. We are so divided by belief. We are so divided by thought. I pray that this message today unite us, the body of Christ, unite us, unite you with your brethren in the household of love. He said, do good to all men, but do more to those in the house of faith. How much of good do you do? I pray for you this morning that this word you are hearing today will revitalize your spirit of love, loving one another. This message is related to what we talked about yesterday, about doing good to all men. Do good. It's the same message that God is bringing you away. I don't know why God is bringing it today. That God laid it on my hand as we still talk about it. It means there is something about it. You see, it is in loving that doors open. It is in loving that hatred run away. It is in loving that death die a natural death. So I pray today that the grace to love, the grace to bear with one another, return back to the family of God in Jesus' mighty name. That is the word for your shower today. The Lord bless you. And I pray that as you go out for your work today, you will show somebody love. The person that the devil has been making you to hate, today you will show that person love. You will show you, you will humiliate the devil by showing love today in the name of Jesus. You will pick your phone this morning and call somebody and tell the person, Sorry, I still love you, forgive me. That will be your work today in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord bless you and glorious morning shower. It's a new day for you, and it is your own day. Praise the Lord.